Hello, welcome back to Engineering Nature. This is Mehul. So this video is in the extension of the previous one where we had simulated the supersonic flow through conversion diversion no cell. Uh, in that video, I mentioned that I will show you how one can create a geometry for CD no cell as well as the mesh customized mesh for the type of geometry. So for that, I will consider this type of uh, conversion diversion no cell where uh, I will considering 300 mm of inlet as well as 150 mm of throat sections which will uh, 200 uh, mm apart from this inlet sections. So uh, the objective of today's tutorial is to understand how uh, to create such kind of geometry uh, and how one can split the faces uh, and by use of that split facing option we can customize the mesh for supersonic flow simulations which I already had posted in my uh, channel you can visit one can go through that so basically I will create this geometry on the space claim which is integral part of ANSYS uh, so first you should start space clip and then after uh, you should because it's a two-dimensional geometry you should select your uh, coordinates XY coordinates where we will sketch our geometry now uh, the geometry I will create uh, with the help of line options I will create the inlet sections of 300 mm uh, that means 300 mm of line and my throat section will be at a 200 mm apart uh, with the throat dimensions of 150 mm so that uh, I will incorporate that information in this way you just simply uh, joint inlet and throat sections which is uh, at 200 mm apart with the help of line options so let me uh, show you that just use the line and you can simply join that uh, line to the throat end point and you can simply delete so you select it and simply delete whatever edges which is not necessary which is not required now let me ensure the dimensions this is the inlet dimensions which is 300 mm so that is good for me and my throat sections completely uh, of 150 mm so this is how I will uh, justify the conversion sections now for the division sections uh, you can uh, appropriately put the dimensions what type of nozzle what dimensions of nozzle division sections you have so I will considering uh, this dimensions and just simply create my uh, two dimensional CD nozzle uh, domain so this is how uh, the face single face uh, which I had created now uh, this entire face you can uh, split into a number of uh, sub faces uh, to customize the mesh so you should uh, go to the split options now in that split options we have various options uh, available I will just select uh, face splitting with the help of line so to create that line they will ask to select two end points so that end point you can uh, locate appropriately just I will locate at 50 mm from the throat sections you simply uh, press the tab and just uh, locate the uh, information so once you uh, create that line entire face will be split into two different faces let me repeat this uh, operation again I will create another line which is 50 mm apart from that uh, throat section that information you can incorporate by uh, just uh, pressing the tab options and in this way another line will split this entire face into three different faces again I will repeat that so this is how uh, near to the throat section I will create two different faces so that I can uh, customize mesh element on that side now let me uh, import this geometry to the uh, ANSYS mesh tool simply uh, if we without uh, doing anything if we generate automatic mesh by simply uh, using uh, the smoothing option uh, by selecting high smoothing options and just simply auto, auto generated mesh uh, will look like this so uh, it's obvious it's a very coarse mesh and one should have uh, refined this mesh 
so what we'll do we will use the sizing options i will incorporate the size from this five edges in the x directions and i will select all that five edges and just you uh, select the number of division so accordingly see because my inlet is of 300 mm so when i uh, uh, divide uh, with that inlet of 150 division obviously each element uh, of 2 mm will create on the inlet side <clears throat> in the same way uh, i will uh, again incorporate sizing options for uh, the side wall of the conversion sections i will putting uh, 100 division for that and once you uh, uh, choose the hard behavior obviously it will stick with that size only so that is also up to you on the diversion side i will select two uh, different edges and uh, i will i wish to divide that into 200 uh, division and finally uh, near to this nose throat sections i will choose four edges and simply uh, i want more refinement so for that 50 uh, uh, mm of length i will uh, create a 50 division so that means 1 mm of each division so that is how you can customize the edge size and then after you simply uh, generate the mesh so each and every information sizing information will incorporate in this way so the mesh which is uh, generated with this option is still not look looks uh, perfectly uh, structured so what we can do is you simply right click on the mesh option and you simply uh, go to the map face mashing so with the help of face mashing you can uh, create the structure element you simply select all faces uh, which you require to reform and then you simply uh, generate that mesh again so what it will do it will uh, restructure rearrange the elements and then it will try to make all quadratic type of mesh elements so this is how now mesh quality is look like this so this is uh, the way through which you can refine your mesh at the same time you can create the structure mesh customize mesh by using the face splitting options so that's it for today uh, thank you very much you can subscribe this channel for uh, more video on the sciences thank you goodbye take care